a little under windy side today. I was gonna kite this morning, but it was already getting like that, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> uh, hopefully there will be a break tonight in weather to go kiting. Definitely not flying though. So just an update for you about my little sky turd. That is the new name of the pair motor. Um, so I had another episode of valve train issues, which resulted in interference between piston and valve. So here's what my dumbass realized. That's what I've been having this whole time. Any form of uh, valve train issue that I've had has had to do with just that. Uh, interference between the valve and the piston and the reason is even though I machined some pockets a they needed to be much deeper and B uh, the valves needed to be the, the pockets needed to be machined at a slightly different angle so here's the update for you I machined some bigger pockets in my piston uh, I also went ahead and I actually installed uh, dual springs back into the head which makes it incredibly hard to pull start but uh, there is a slight possibility that my valves were also floating at top RPM and that's what caused the interference. I'm not really sure. There's a, uh, you know, I could probably run some tests and figure it out. But just in case I put the dual springs in because I know my valve train can actually handle it now. Uh, another thing I did is I put in a thinner head gasket for now with all that extra clearance. Um, hopefully I won't interfere. We'll see how that goes because the last time I was having a beautiful flight It was amazing. I had uh, another pilot up in the air Joe. I still got to post that video up and um, When I landed or, or, or a little bit before I landed I noticed that uh, There's like a little bit of noise in my valve train and my lash caps pop popped out because I think uh, It was bouncing off the cylinder or something or the piston I mean anyway, so now we have achieved 7300 rpm at the engine which makes 2850 was it 2850 at the prop 28 2829 rpm at the prop uh which is getting pretty high up there uh on a monster 185 prop so i'm very excited about that that's going to be a nice little boost and uh thrust for my new wing sweet what i forgot to mention i don't know if you can see that oh there she is that's uh 7300 top rpm with a db killer installed in my exhaust if you don't know what that is that is a baffle that pretty much completely restricts it uh for the sake of canceling some of the noise and so I've been using that because I blew all the baffling out of my muffler and I haven't had a chance to repack it, nor do I really want to. I'm actually going to probably throw this whole thing away and do something else. Um, but the DB killer is also a huge horsepower tax. And so reaching more RPM than I ever had on this engine at the prop with the DB killer is pretty cool.
right.